Hi, I'm Michael Hemphill and I'm going to show you how to install a MagPower HEB250 brake onto a Tidlin system bow shirt safety chuck. Okay, so what I'm about to demonstrate here is mounting the optional HEB250 backing plate to a bow shirt safety chuck. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the standard screws that hold the bearing retaining plate on. Take note that some of these screws are M6 and some are M8. We recommend to drill out the holes in the bow shirt safety chuck that are M6 and make them M8. Drill them out and retap them. You'll also have to drill out the clearance holes in the bearing retaining plate so they can also accept the M8. Once you've got that done, you will reinstall that bearing retaining plate on there. And we will bring in our optional HEB250 mounting plate available through MagPower. The bearing plate is supplied with an array of holes here that fit different bow shirt safety checks, the 2230, the 3040, and the, the 4050. You'll line up the pattern of holes that corresponds with the bow shirt safety chuck you have and you will install the M8 screws through the plate, through the bearing plate, and you will get one started in there. So now we're going to mount the HEB250 rotor onto the brake shaft. We have our key in place here on the shaft and we'll line up the key in the rotor and we'll slide it on. To get ourselves to a position of a good starting point to bring our calipers in, we'll take a measurement of, of the back face of the rotor to our mounting surface of 88 millimeters. And once we've got that measurement taken, we'll go ahead and snug down our set screws. There's two of them 90 degrees apart from each other. And we'll snug them down and then we'll just back off a little bit. Next we will introduce our caliper half and I'm going to get one screw started on the bottom. And that way the screw can help hold it in position while I work the other screw in. And once I've got them both in, I can go down and tighten each one of them up. Okay, so now that we have all four screws in our caliper mounting bracket half, we're going to check the spacing between the back face of the rotor and the base of the friction pad. And we're going to make sure that it's equal on this side of the rotor as well as the front face to the face of the friction pad. We want equal spacing. Once we've got that accomplished, we're going to go ahead and tighten down our set screws onto the shaft. Now that you have your rotor in position and your equal spacing and your set screws tightened down, we're going to install the second caliper mounting bracket half by simply sliding it over the rotor and we have four screws that hold that in position. We're going to get two of them started and once we get all four of them in We'll put our finger guard on the front. Now this would be if you don't have a fan, 
we'll put this finger guard here. And then we will complete our air hose piping to the other caliper half. and your brake is installed. Okay, if your MagPower HEB 250 brake comes equipped with a forced fan, this is the shroud that it will come on. This is the underside of it. We have the conduit inlet here, where after you hook up your conduit connection, you will wire into this terminal block here, which will run your fan. Once you get that accomplished, the shroud goes onto the brake using four screws and it will screw in there just like that. Once you get all four of them on there and tightened in, your fan shroud will be installed.